You can spend lots of money on billboard and radio advertising, but I'll tell you what I do, and it's super cheap. I focus on the customers that are in my store. I make sure I have something like one of these cards to give them. These cards have my Grow Diamond or the Troubleshooting Chart or the Growth Rate Chart on one side and your store information on the other. That way, you make a good first impression when the customer is in your store. They've got something with your name on it. You can kind of work with the customer over the information and you can build a relationship. You don't get that from expensive billboard and radio advertising. That's why you should always make sure you maximize every sale that's in your store. The customer that's in your store wants to spend money. Take it. Trust me. Put it in your cash register. That's what this is all about. They're here to spend money and you want it. Get yourself some of my cards and start making more sales. Truth is, everything in my store works. Somebody loves everything I sell, somebody hates everything I sell. But that's not your concern. Your job is to sell product. Most growers are going to fail, but don't worry about that. Sell them their product, take their money, put it in your register, and then remind them on their way out that you buy, sell, and trade, use equipment, so they want to switch it up, they can come back in. Can't tell you how many times I've bought and sold the same equipment over and over. I've made so much money on that. Remember. Take their money, say thank you. Not everyone's gonna succeed, that's not your job, you're a retail store. I know I make fun about customer service and how I say you can educate a customer but they can walk out and leave your store, but the reality is there's some customers you're gonna to have to educate. They're there to buy, and those big buy customers are exactly the one that you wanna take the time and educate, right? So this is my grow book. Customers come in with questions, this grow book solves their problems. All you gotta do, listen to their questions, ask about their gardens, and then find that page in the book. You want to know something about my ultimate RO? This is what I do. Open up the page to the ultimate RO, and I can show my customers pictures of how it works. They want to know about meters? I got a meter page. They want to know how to mix nutrients? There's a mixed nutrient page, right? And so everything that you need to teach your customers is in the grow book. That's how you kind of use it, right? You walk up to the counter, they got a question, you're hanging out with them, you open up the book, you show them a picture, you can talk about it, maybe you'll do something like draw on it, draw a couple of pictures, work with them a little so they can get the understanding. Maybe you'll even go to the back, help them with the garden journal, or a couple of the garden examples in the back. All of these things are in the grow book to help you at the register, at the point of sale, to get as much money out of the customers as we can, because that's the job. You should always keep a couple of my garden science magazines on your counter because you never know when a customer is going to come in with a question, right? I mean, they might come in with something like, hey, I'm looking to grow in my bathroom or set up a garden. Boom, open up the magazine, show them that picture. They might come in want to know about thermoflow, right? You'll open up, show them why the thermoflow prevents the number one midflower killer of ducting blowout. They might have a question on microbes. You'll open up the book to the microbe page, show them the microbe pictures, you might walk over to the counter, get some microbes, and there you have it, three exposures. The customer comes in with something on their mind, you show them a picture of what they're talking about, and then you get the product. Remember, customers like to see, three, see things three times before they buy it. Open up the magazine, give it to them when they walk out of the store, get your store name, address, and phone number printed on the cover. It's everything you need. Make that sale.